I also figured this might be a very weird video because considering it's just me eating breakfast which is a norm for a lot of people. Good morning, welcome back to the kitchen. It is 1.41 and I've been thinking to start this thing where I film myself making breakfast slash brunch for the next 5 days because I was watching a video from Greco last night and she was making 5 bougie breakfasts I was just thinking like how I don't usually have breakfast at all so maybe let's just start with making breakfast I don't usually eat until like 2-3 hours later um, after I wake up so by the time it happens it's like lunch already which is what happens now First things first though, gotta make my coffee. I honestly hate figuring out what to use. I have avocados at home that are gonna rot already, so I'm probably gonna have this with some bread. First, gonna cut the apple. Oh no! It's really rotting. Finished my breakfast. I've changed my workplace situation at home. I'm already racking my brains to figure out what should I have for breakfast tomorrow because I'm clearly not a breakfast person. All I do is drink coffee and milk. We shall see. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is day two of breakfast. It's already almost 1 pm. So today I don't have to fret. Um, what to eat because my friend sent grab food. He got Starbucks, a latte and a chocolate muffin. So so excited! Thanks friend. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever had a Starbucks muffin before. I'm good at. It's so good. I just remembered tomorrow's will be Saturday. It's a public holiday, so I have no work. <gasps> oh my god! Look at that. This chocolate oozing out. Oh. Such a sinful breakfast. Yeah, I was saying tomorrow's be suck day, so I'm probably gonna go go out to get some stuff, my coffee powder, because I ran out of it. I haven't been out of the house for a month. I'm probably gonna vlog tomorrow as well. I can see why Starbucks provides calorie for their muffins now. It's so good leh. Wow. It's so good. Good morning. I literally just woke up and it's 3 p.m. Hello. I'm so tired. I'm gonna make myself pancake cereal which is like mini pancakes then you add them all in a bowl then you have it like cereal so
got my bowl of pancake cereal. I added milk and Nutella. I don't think I can finish this. It's quite a big bowl. And I of course have my cup of coffee. Can you tell the difference between me before coffee and me after coffee? Like how big of a difference is that? Anyway, let's try. The addition of the milk is good. It's pancake in mini form. Extra small, extra large food is always the best. So, it's actually pretty good. It was very quick. This is so much easier to eat than regular pancakes where you have to take the fork and the knife and then you go <laughs> all the way. It's, it's too early for a morning workout. This is so much easier, just scoop or poke and eat. Easy. And like you can do things with your other hand, you know, because you're only using one hand to poke so you can use your phone on the other hand. It is 7.30 and I'm still having my breakfast. Morning. It's time for coffee. Oh, the lack of sleep is real and Accumulating. I'm actually really not hungry, but I just want to get the eating over and done with so I can just focus on my work instead of doing my work, then feeling hungry and then making food and then going back to work. Let me grill cheese today. Thought twist receive uh, delivery. Oh, I think it's for me also. I don't know, I think this is for mommy and papa. This is from Ice Tips. We still, we still thought it's like catering food, you know, that somebody delivered wrongly to our house. I guess this is breakfast, brunch. I obviously took the one with spinach. Oh, oh. Who's here? Who's here? No, not for you. Sorry, boy. It comes with meat. I think it's chicken. I don't know what sauce is. Barbecue sauce? Uh, my favorite mac and cheese and spinach with sesame. And also, it comes with a dog. Then we pester you for life until you give him food. No. I'm sorry boy, it's not your food. Mm. Good morning, it's 2 p.m. on a Saturday and I just woke up. <laughs> Outside. I have decided to make an acai bowl this morning for breakfast. I have the acai packs for since a long time ago but I haven't made them yet because my blender is not very strong so blending it will be very tough. I don't really know what to top it with but Done. I tasted it when I was preparing it. It's a bit sour because I thought I had two acai packets but I don't. I only have one so I end up adding a lot of frozen raspberries which is super sour. But uh, here it is. Can you believe I used to be one of the part-timers who makes acai bowls? What's this trash? I topped it off with chia seeds, banana and papaya because we already have papaya at home. 
It is very watery because my blender is not strong enough. So as it keeps blending, it heats up the uh, frozen foods. So it's not as frozen as I want. I added a second banana after that because the first one was too sour. Not too bad. Can you believe this has like three bananas inside? Breakfast easily takes up like 1,000 calories. It's perfect for this weather. I gotta finish up my report so I hope I don't fall asleep after breakfast. Hello everybody! So I was just editing the video um, on the breakfast shit and I realized I didn't conclude my experience on having breakfast. I just feel it's not my kind of thing. You, you just spend too much time making and then you have to eat it and <laughs> then clean up. And then the worst part comes after that is like you have to fight to stay awake um, in the afternoon. I think for me, because what I call breakfast is basically the first meal of the day. By then, it's already like 12, 1. The food coma just comes in. La. I understand that like, people always think breakfast is the most important part of your day. But I think it's how I was brought up in this family. Like a, it's a habit of sorts. Like for example, recent Mother's Day. Literally all of us, or like except for my mom, had their breakfast or the first meal as a steamboat and like nobody could stomach anything because it was just too early in the evening or whatever time we woke up. I guess um, because we wake up so late every time then our body hasn't really started functioning yet. Your body is just not awake giving you the appetite to eat long. What do Singaporeans even eat? for breakfast. Uh, all I can think of is dim sum pao. Wonton mee and kaya toast. Regular bread obviously and uh, that being said, it was fun experimenting food for breakfast because seriously what do we go eat for breakfast even though like half the time people deliver food to me but still what do we go eat for breakfast. I, I enjoyed the part where I have to Food because I love cooking and baking in general but it's just so time consuming especially when you have things to do and you have work to do and that kind of stuff. I hope you enjoy watching me think, make and eat food. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.